text, but if the priest's daughter be a widow, or divorced, and have no child, and is returned unto her father's house, as in her youth, she shall eat of her father's meat, but there shall no stranger eat thereof. Leviticus 22, 13, Commentary. Verse 13. But if the priestess ought to be a widow or divorced, if her husband be dead, or if living, and she is put away by him, whether a Levite, or an Israelite, and have no child, by him, as the Targum of Jonathan and Jarki add, nor is with child by him, and is returned to her father's house, as in her youth, she shall eat of her father's meat, not of all, or any part, only of some, of the heave offering, but not of the shoulder or breast, which is the tradition of the wise men, as Maimonides relates. There are two cases in this affair accepted by them, which they suppose are implied in this clause. The one is, if she is detained and reserved for her husband's brother, according to the law in Deuteronomy 25, 5, she being without children, and so the Targum of Jonathan adds, and is not kept or reserved for her husband's brother, which is implied by her being returned to her father's house, and the other is, if she is with child, for though she had no children by her husband, yet if she is pregnant, that made her unlawful to eat of the holy things, for then she is not as in her youth. The Jewish canon concerning such a person runs thus, the daughter of a priest, married to an Israelite, may not eat of the heave offering, if he dies, and she has a son by him, she may not eat of the heave offering, if she is married to a Levite, she may eat of the tithes, if he dies, and she has a son by him, she may eat of the tithes, if she is married to a priest, she may eat of the heave offering, if he dies, and she has a son by him, she may eat of the heave offering, if her son by the priest dies, she may not eat of the heave offering, if her son by the Levite dies, she may not eat of the tithes, if her son by an Israelite, she may return to her father's house, as it is said, Leviticus 22, 13. But there shall no stranger eat thereof, as not any one of another nation, so not any one of another family beside the priestess, no, not the son of a priestess daughter by an Israelite, which some think is principally intended, and so Eben Ezra remarks this is said of a son, if she had any, and upon whose account she herself might not eat.